Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start off with the substitute function. This here will be my text, and then this will be the old text, and this will be the new text, and close brackets and enter. And what it has done is searched for the old text within this column heading here, and then substituted it for the new text here. So I end up with this new column heading. Now I am going to change some of these cell references to make them absolute cell references. Then I'm going to drag this formula across. And of course, it doesn't work for this column heading here because it's only looking at this value, which doesn't appear in this column heading. What I want it to do is look at this value here. So I need to give the substitute function some way of looking at the whole of this table and then doing all of these substitutions. So the next step is to expand these cell ranges here so they cover the whole of the table and enter. And I'll drag this across as well. And you can see that for the first row here, it does the substitution because it's able to find this value in this column heading. However, it doesn't work for any of the other rows because none of these names appear in the column heading. So it can't do a substitution. So it just returns the original value. And that's the same in this column here. The only row that has a substitution is this one here, where it finds the old name and then replaces it, but everything else stays the same. What I want is a way to pull out these results that I want. So I'm going to do that with the unique function. And I'll select this array here, and then for by column, I'm going to select false for return unique rows. And then for exactly once, this is the important part. I want it to pull out only the values that appear exactly once. Because the substitution is only going to happen once, the result that I want will only appear once in the array. So I'm going to select true for this and then close brackets and enter. And I will drag this across and you can see in both cases I end up with the result that I want. Now let's put this together. So I'll take the substitute part of the formula and copy this and then I'll paste it in here to replace this array cell reference. Then I can delete all of this bit down here and we'll drag this forwards and backwards to fill in the rest of the table. And I'll make this bold. And you can see that in some cases this works, but in other cases I get a calculation error. And that's because for some of my column headings, this name does not appear in the table. So it can't make a substitution which means there are no unique values that appear only once, so I get a calculation error. In order to fix this, I need to put all of this into an if error formula. So this here is the value, and if this produces an error, then I want it to return the original column heading. Because if the name is not in the table, I just want to keep the column heading that I started with. I don't want it to change. And close brackets and enter. And now I can drag this across and it fixes the calculation errors. So now I have the results that I want. You can see here that this does not change as it doesn't appear in the table. Here, I have this value being replaced with this value. And then for anything which is not a compound name, like the brackets or the underscore, any of the other text or numbers, that all stays as it is. It's only the compound name which is being changed. So here I am replacing this name with this one. And then in this column, I'm replacing this name with this one. This one stays the same, this one stays the same, and this one also stays the same. 
because even though this name does appear in my table, it is in the new name column. So in this case, I already have the name that I want and it doesn't change. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to find and replace multiple pieces of text in Excel and that is everything.